currently hearing eight people have in fact died. That's what we've been reporting all day, ranging in age from 14 to 27 um, years old. About 50,000 people were attending this event um, yesterday evening when the stampede actually occurred towards uh, the stage. The mayor of Houston, Sylvester Turner, telling us 13 are currently hospitalized and being treated for their injuries that were incurred during that stampede. They are currently working with Travis Scott the artist himself and the promoter of the concert to figure out the answers to two major questions, which is what took place and what went wrong, what went wrong. And it seems as if the press trying to drill down on this and asking officials there as to the number of security officials that were in place to monitor the situation at the concert. Uh, with that, I want to go now to NBC's Katie Beck, who's standing by for us and covering this press conference for us. Um, Katie, talk us through what more we heard from officials there as we're trying to learn some answers to those questions the mayor himself put out there as to what took place and what went wrong when we're talking about eight people now dead, ranging in age from 14 to 27. Well, I think the message was clear that they want to do an independent investigation. They want this to be a thorough review of all the site and security plans that were put forth before this event and see if they missed something, if there's a possibility that this should have been more secure, should have been more thought out, that security wasn't properly in place where it should have been. Uh, they did give some commendations to emergency personnel for responding quickly. They did say that Live Nation, the event organizer here, is cooperating and providing them with videotape of last night's event. Uh, but they also said that this will be a homicide and narcotics investigation. That was a key point we had not yeah. heard before this press conference. And, and the reason for that, that they said, was because of a security guard who evidently uh, was injected with something in his neck and went down unconscious at the concert, uh, was later given Narcan and revived. So that was an interesting detail that we hadn't yet heard uh, before now. All right, Katie Beck, thanks for summing that up for us. I know you're going to stay on top of it as this thing develops. Hopefully we'll get some more answers um, as this presser is continuing. But for now, Katie, thank you.